In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use Google Translate function inside a Google spreadsheet. So this is one of the coolest functions, in my opinion, that you can use in a Google spreadsheet, which is rather than having to take a list of words into Google Translate, you can just simply use a function and translate it directly into a spreadsheet. So the function that we are going to be using is um, equals, and you can see I'm typing it in cell B2, Google Translate. So I started typing it, I started typing equals Google, and you can see that the helpers always suggests the function to me. So I have here Google Translate, which translates text from one language into another. I'm going to click on it. And as always, the helper is going to tell me how to write the function. So the first thing it wants is the text that we need to translate. And what we are doing here, we are translating from English into Portuguese and then into Spanish. So the text that we need translated is in English and is in column A. So I'm going to point my cursor to get the text. So I'm just going to reference to A2, comma. And the next thing I need is the source language. So the source language is English. And what I need to know here to be able to write this function is what is the ISO code for English and also for uh, the destination languages, which are Portuguese and Spanish. So for English, it is very simple. It is EN. So I am just going to type in and I'm going to have, because this is text, when I'm adding text to a function, I need to put it in between inverted commas. So I open inverted commas. EN, which is the uh, ISO code for English, and then I close it, comma again, and now I need a destination language, which in the first case is Portuguese, and I also need the ISO code for Portuguese, which is PT, so again I'm going to open the inverted commas, type PT, close the inverted commas, and that's uh, all of my function. If I press return, it takes a while and it translated love from English into the Portuguese equivalent of uh, amor. Uh, now, very important, I said that you need to know what the ISO code is. I have linked here uh, to Wikipedia, where there, there's a list of the codes for each of the languages, uh, I guess, in the world. They have an ISO code, so you can get the codes from here. Uh, also, as you, if you have experience using Google Translate, you know that although there, are, there is more than one Portuguese and there is more than one Spanish, there is Portuguese in Portugal and Brazil, there is Spanish in uh, different countries in Latam, but for Google Translate, there is only one Portuguese and only one Spanish, so it's always going to be the same code. I guess you're going to need a native speaker to tell you if that's correct or not, but for here we are just doing a pure, simple translation. Okay, so as always, I'm going to double click on B2 to open the formula so we can read it. So again, equals Google Translate is the formula. A2 is the reference to the cell that has the text we need to translate. The first language is the language where the source text is, so in this case it's English, has to be in between inverted commas. And the second language is the destination language, which is Portuguese. So this is fine, I can simply drag that formula down, so I just bring my cursor here, you see, to the bottom right, and I double click. And it has translated all of the words on my list. Now, very important, this function is kind of heavy on a spreadsheet, so here I only have around 20 words, it's fine. But if you're translating a very massive list, I recommend that you don't drag it down through the whole list. Maybe you do 500 keywords max at a time, and once it's loaded the 500 keywords, then you do the rest. And otherwise, the uh, spreadsheet can crash. Another trick is that if you're using that for a lot of words and a lot of languages, you can just, for example, I did the translation already, so I'm just going to select all of it. I'm going to copy using um, Ctrl-C, and I'm going to right-click, 
and I'm gonna paste special and I'm gonna paste values only. What this is going to do, this is going to remove the formula. You see, if you click on the cells, now there is no formula anymore. There is only the word and that's what you need, right? You don't need the formula. It also makes it easier for you to copy the words from here into a different document. So you copy them all, you paste special and you paste the values only and that will remove the formula. All right, let's do this again. Now let's translate into Spanish equals Google Translate is the second formula. So I'm just going to click on it. It wants the text. So again, I'm going to translate from English. You could translate from Portuguese if you wanted. In this case, I just find that uh, Google Translate always works a little bit better if you're translating from English, just personal experience. Probably not necessarily true, but that's my preference, just my personal preference. So I selected the word that I need translated. Again, what is the source language? This is English. I need it in between inverted commas, so EN is the code for English. Again, I took this code from the Wikipedia list that is linked here. And the destination language, which in this case is Spanish, uh, between inverted commas again, ES, which uh, is the ISO code. Press return. And that's the translation into Spanish, which is actually the same word as in Portuguese. So I'm gonna, again, bring my cursor to the bottom right, double click, so the co formula copies across and you can see that it translated all of the words into Spanish. Uh, you can see for Portuguese I removed the formulas, so if I click on cell B2 and I come here to the uh, formula bar, you can see there is no formula, there is just a word. If I do the same for Spanish, C2, you can see that this is actually a formula and Amor is just the result. So again, let's remove the formula and let's keep only the word. We're just gonna uh, select all of our words. We're going to do Ctrl C to copy. I'm gonna come to the first cell, C2, right click on it, paste special and paste values only. If you see these shortcuts here, I'm using a Mac. So if you're not using a Mac, they're not gonna work for you. So just uh, follow the same path as I followed, paste values only. And you can see that that has removed the formula and I'm left only with the words. So that's it, our translation from English into Portuguese and Spanish. Uh, and you could add here as many languages as you wanted or as many languages as the spreadsheet would support without crashing.